I enjoy this area so much. It reminds me a lot of the town in which I grew up where, you know, there were little pockets of subdivisions, but yet there was a cornfield at the end of the block. And so to have that fresh air and that country feeling, but yet still be in an area that's so conveniently located. I think if you're looking for a back to nature uh, outdoor environment and you don't want to be in a community that is extremely um, isolated, this is the place to be. You can take your children swimming in the lake, you can walk through the woods, uh, you can go boating on the chain, you can go to Great America, <laughs> you can visit Gurney Mills, and then you can also enjoy your own backyard and have the dog and have the things that I think people really look for when they want um, to have their children in the country. The parks, the pool, the um all the lakes. I mean, there's lakes all over the place. We've gone to the forest preserves and walked around there, and there's so many different things you can do without driving an hour to get there. You could drive five, ten minutes down the street and you're at a lake, and you can go to the beach, you can go you know, swimming, fishing, biking, walking, hiking. There's so many things you can do. It's nice because a lot of people, you know, our friends, live back like in the suburbs of Chicago and to do something like that you have to drive hour, hour 15 minimum to get to lakes or get to have those opportunities. We try to make sure that there's uh, plenty of choice for everybody year round in terms of facilities at the park district. In the summertime we have a, an outdoor swimming pool, uh, it's a zero depth pool which means it's similar to a beach and so children uh, of all ages can go in a large pool. There's also a, a special ch children's pool which is only a depth of 18 inches and has a small playground inside. Um, we've added plenty of interesting things to make the aquatic facility fun to be at. Um, in addition to that, we have an indoor fitness center, we have a senior citizen center, uh, we have 35 different parks um, ranging in all sizes from a small playground to large parks, uh, 40 acres in size or more with football fields and other kinds of facilities on them. We have picnic areas, uh, just about anything you might be interested in doing. It's not as built up as a place like Waukegan or Schaumburg. You still have that sort of country feel to it that you might get. There's still a lot of parkland. Our park district's been really good about having a lot of open space in the subdivisions. Um, the mayors have been pretty good about trying to make sure, the ones that we have now, trying to make sure that the open space stays. Um, as much as possible so I think that that makes a big difference to a family moving here as opposed to where they might move. I would say there are a number of things that this community has that people need to know about. Um, it was once said to me that the Round Lake area is probably one of the best kept secrets in Lake County and I totally agree. I think first of all in terms of our schools I think that while every place can certainly improve, I see the effort and the enthusiasm of our staff to do the very best we can in spite of all the constraints with tax caps and other, other situations that face us. Our only carry schools, similar to over 100 schools in Illinois, um, faced some financial difficulties because of the state funding formula changing and we are in a tax cap community. Uh, we are of course pressuring the legislature to change that and it, we've had some success with that and we will continue to do it. And we also passed an 11 million dollar referendum last spring and that was on the second try which is phenomenal. Normally it does, that doesn't happen. And with those funds, we'll be able to renovate our buildings, um, do some, some needed repairs, put money toward technology. Um, we also did raise the education fund, which will help with our curriculum. Right now, we're making decisions on additions and, and roofs and, you know, replacing heating units. That's exciting because that's not something we could do before we would do it if there was an emergency that came up because we had to and we'd try to do it the best way we could with the least amount of money and now we, we have the availability to be able to do it right the first time. 
and I think that that's wonderful for the kids. It gives them so much more. It also will give them some additional programs and keep us from having to cut, you know, other programs. So we're constantly reevaluating. However, um, the bottom line for us always is whatever we're doing, whatever we're spending, how is it going to improve instruction for kids? Well, I think one of the best things, if you're going to live this far from the city, is to have proximity to a train station. Uh, so I take the metro into town, which is uh, two miles from where we live at the entrance of Country Walk to the train station. So that only takes a couple minutes to get to the train. And then it's about an hour ten on the metro into the city. Um, and so, you know, Monday through Friday, that's what I'll be doing. You know, we're able to work in the city um, and live that kind of lifestyle. And, uh, then still be able to call it home when we get out of here. I think it's very convenient. I've had pe several people tell me that uh, just about anything they, uh, they would need is right here. They can shop at different stores and just about anything they would need would be right here. Um, with the uh, train station set to open in August, uh, we're very uh, happy with that, uh, with that amenity and that'll, that's going to go right downtown to uh, Chicago and it'll hit O'Hare Field before. So if you get to O'Hare Field, you can get just about any place in the world. And also, we're just about 10 minutes from the, the tollway, the tri-state. And uh, I think that's very convenient. And, and we're also 10 minutes from, from Gurney Mills. So anything you can't buy here, you certainly could buy over there. It's convenient, but it's not too convenient. Like, it's not right in your backyard, but it's close enough. Mm -hmm. I think it's really convenient for um, most people, whether you commute far to work or, you know, you work right around the corner because I think it's, you have enough variety but not too much where you don't know if you want to go to Kmart, you want to go to Sam's, you want to go, there's so many different stores in some of the suburbs where here you have just enough variety and it's close enough that you can do it on your way home from work or at night when you get home. 24 hour shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Super Kmart. We've gone there many Jewel. times at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You always get front door parking. <laughs> the three biggest things that will impact uh, Round Lake Beach in the future, I believe, are the uh, train station, which will be opening up uh, August 19th, be the first day ridership. That will get people down to O'Hare Field and into Chicago and back. Uh, we built a 40-acre uh, detention lake to detain water. Uh, to keep people from the east side of town from flooding. And it turned out that it, it had an impact on the entire system. So we have lessened our impact in severe weather. And the, the other thing that probably is the third biggest uh, thing will be uh, a 40 acre piece of property. And that piece of property, will, we will have a, a one million, one and a half million gallon uh, water tower on it and a property we've purchased for a new police station and then the bulk of it will be a brand new park, a central park which we did not have up until this time. Uh, we have numerous other park sites that will be coming to us as part of developments. One of them, uh, the Sutton on the Lake development. Uh, that park site has plans at this point for a uh, football and soccer field, uh, for some trails that will allow bicycle passageway and also will get people to the train station if they're commuters. Uh, also in that site we're looking at having a playground and we're going to be coordinating the overall master plan design of that park site with the village of Round Lake Beach. We came here from uh, another suburb, Buffalo Grove, and uh, in that suburb it, it's the change from there to here is really, really dramatic in the respect that we lived in Buffalo Grove for, uh, I would say, what, about five years, five and a half years, something like that. And for some reason, we never really got an opportunity to, to meet a lot of our neighbors. As a matter of fact, uh, we probably knew maybe two or three neighbors, and that was about it. But when we moved here, it was so much different because uh, it was like all of the neighbors in our cul-de-sac, we just, you know, kind of hit it off real well and, and we, we, we know all of them by first name basis and you know we you know it's really it's really a pleasure coming it's more home. Homey. When you come home everybody waves at you. Know? Yeah it's real nice. It's real nice. Everyone kinda has a couple of minutes to hey hi you know how you doing and it's a real nice night very nice atmosphere. I would recommend it to anybody and we have several times anybody we see. They're a nice um, community-oriented group of people. They are friendly. They're always willing to help out when a person needs help. Um, 
they have a sense of pride in a community that I've not seen elsewhere before in all the places that I've lived. But it's the heart and soul of the people that's at the very crux of this area. The pride, um, the commitment, and um, whether you look to any of those areas, the park district, the schools, the villages, um, the heart and soul of the people is something special here.